In this section, we're going to start our neural network journey with a classic motivational problem, identifying handwritten digits from the MNIST dataset. This is like the Hello World challenge of machine vision. The premise is we have 70,000 pictures of handwritten digits between 0 and 9. 50,000 of these represent the training data, where we know what digit the picture is supposed to represent. The other 20,000 represent the test data, where we have to predict what digit the picture represents. Each picture is just a 28 by 28 grid of grayscale pixel values, where each value is an integer between 0, which means black, and 255, which means white. To get a better understanding of this, let's download the data and start messing with it. Now, the MNIST dataset exists in a few different places, but I ended up hosting it on my own public GitHub repo so that you can read it directly into a pandas data frame. I'll start by importing NumPy as NP, importing pandas as PD, and I'll also suppress scientific notation and extend the default line width. Then I can set MNIST train equals pd.readcsv, passing in the public URL path of MNIST train.csv from my GitHub repo. We'll ignore MNIST test until the very end when we have a model worthy of testing on some holdout data. So here's what the data looks like. And then if I call MNIST train.shape, you can see the training data has 50,000 rows and 785 columns, 784 of which are features. As I mentioned earlier, these 784 pixels make up a 28 by 28 grid. The first 28 features represent the first row of pixels, the second 28 features represent the second row of pixels, and so on. So if we pick out the first row of features, convert that to a NumPy array, and then reshape the 1D array into a 28 by 28 2D array using the default C-like index order, you can pretty much tell this is the number 5. All of these zeros are black pixels, and all of the non-zeros are basically white and gray pixels. Now, there's an easy way to plot this, so if we import matplotlib.pyplot as plt, and then do plt.mshow, passing in the 2D array we just created, set cmap equals gray, vmin equals 0, and vmax equals 255, you can pretty clearly see this is the number 5. We can confirm it by looking at the label for this training instance, like this. The challenge, of course, is how do you write a program to do this classification? So we'll take on that challenge in the next section.